There are five parts to the test. Parts one, two, three, four, and five. We will now stop for a moment before we start the test. Please ask any questions now because you mustn't speak during the test. Look at the instructions for part one. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. For questions one to five, put a tick under the right answer. Here is an example. How many people were at the meeting? Were there many people at the meeting? About thirty. That's not many. No, but more than last time. The answer is thirty, so there is a tick in box C. Now we are ready to start. Look at question one. One. When did Gary start his new job? Hello, Gary. I haven't seen you since March. Hi, Jane. No, I've been busy with my new job. Really? When did you start that? May. I left my last job in April. Now listen again. Hello, Gary. I haven't seen you since March. Hi, Jane. No, I've been busy with my new job. Really? When did you start that? May. I left my last job in April. Two. What time does the film start? Hello, Odeon Cinema. Could you tell me what time the film starts, please? Certainly. There are two screenings: one at four thirty and the other at seven. Thank you very much. Now listen again. Hello, Odeon Cinema. Could you tell me what time the film starts, please? Certainly. There are two screenings: one at four thirty and the other at seven. Thank you very much. Three. What was the weather like on Saturday? Did you have good weather at the beach at the weekend? Yes, it was sunny all weekend. Wasn't it windy too? Only on Sunday. Now listen again. Did you have good weather at the beach at the weekend? Yes, it was sunny all weekend. Wasn't it windy too? Only on Sunday. Four. Which motorway will they take? I've put the luggage in the car. Can we leave now? Okay, we'll go on the M6 motorway. Isn't it faster on the M1 and then the M62? Yes, usually, but there's been an accident on the M1, so I don't want to go that way. Now listen again. I've put the luggage in the car. Can we leave now? Okay, we'll go on the M6 motorway. Isn't it faster on the M1 and then the M62? Yes, usually, but there's been an accident on the M1, so I don't want to go that way. Five. Which book does Lorna want? Have you finished studying yet, Lorna? No, not yet. Could you give me that book, please? Which one? There are three here. This one on the sofa. No, the one on the chair next to the sofa, please. Now listen again. Have you finished studying yet, Lorna? No, not yet. Could you give me that book, please? Which one? There are three here. This one on the sofa. 
No, the one on the chair next to the sofa, please. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. For questions one to five, put a tick under the right answer. Here is an example. How many people were at the meeting? Were there many people at the meeting? About thirty. That's not many. No, but more than last time. The answer is thirty, so there is a tick in box C. Now we are ready to start. Look at question one. One, what colour is Kathy's bedroom now? Come and look at my bedroom. I've painted it. What colour this time, Kathy? Green. I decided to paint it blue. Oh well, that's nicer than before. I hated those pink walls. Now listen again. Come and look at my bedroom. I've painted it. What colour this time, Kathy? Green. I decided to paint it blue. Oh well, that's nicer than before. I hated those pink walls. Two. Which platform does the woman's train leave from? Which is the platform for the train to London? The fast train leaves from platform six at seven o'clock. I want to go to Rugby. Does it stop there? You need the slow train from platform two at seven ten. Now listen again. Which is the platform for the train to London? The fast train leaves from platform six at seven o'clock. I want to go to Rugby. Does it stop there? You need the slow train from platform two at seven ten. Three. How is Susan going to get to the airport? How are you going to go to the airport on Tuesday, Susan? I'm going to take the coach. I can get off just outside the airport. A taxi is too expensive. There's a train you can get. It's very fast. That's only at the weekends. Now listen again. How are you going to go to the airport on Tuesday, Susan? I'm going to take the coach. I can get off just outside the airport. A taxi is too expensive. There's a train you can get. It's very fast. That's only at the weekends. Four. Which is Anna's family? Tell me about your family, Anna. Well, my father's tall with dark hair, and my mother's the opposite. She's shorter and blonde. Then there's my brother. Is he older than you? He's five years younger. Now listen again. Tell me about your family, Anna. Well, my father's tall with dark hair, and my mother's the opposite. She's shorter and blonde. Then there's my brother. Is he older than you? He's five years younger. Five. When is Kim's birthday party? Are you going to go to Kim's birthday party? She'll be sixteen in June. Oh yes, it's on the eleventh, isn't it? That's right. It'll be quite a big party, about thirty people, I think. Okay, I'll see you there. Now listen again. Are you going to go to Kim's birthday party? She'll be sixteen in June. Oh yes. It's on the eleventh, isn't it? That's right. It'll be quite a big party, about thirty people, I think. Okay, I'll see you there. 
Look at the instructions for part one. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. For questions one to five, put a tick under the right answer. Here is an example. How many people were at the meeting? Were there many people at the meeting? About thirty. That's not many. No. But more than last time. The answer is thirty, so there is a tick in box C. Now we are ready to start. Look at question one. One. When will they go on holiday? Do you want to come on holiday with me in the summer? Sure, I can go in June, July, or September. Well, June will be best for me. July's too hot, and I have to work in September. Okay, where shall we go? Now listen again. Do you want to come on holiday with me in the summer? Sure, I can go in June, July, or September. Well, June will be best for me. July's too hot, and I have to work in September. Okay, where shall we go? Two. How is Patty going to travel? I'm going to go to Vienna on Saturday. How long does it take to fly there, Patty? Oh, I'm going to drive. Oh yes, you get ill on planes, don't you? Yes. And trains. Now listen again. I'm going to go to Vienna on Saturday. How long does it take to fly there, Patty? Oh, I'm going to drive. Oh yes, you get ill on planes, don't you? Yes, and trains. Three. What will Sam do? You must phone me while you're on holiday, Sam. Telephoning's too expensive. I'll send you a postcard from the campsite. But I'll want to know you're all right. Can't you send me a letter? I won't have time for writing letters. Now listen again. You must phone me while you're on holiday, Sam. Telephoning's too expensive. I'll send you a postcard from the campsite. But I'll want to know you're all right. Can't you send me a letter? I won't have time for writing letters. Four. What was the weather like in Portugal? What was the weather like in Portugal, Debbie? It was cloudy every day, but it didn't rain. Really. It was lovely and sunny on our holiday in Spain. Yes, but we were in the north of Portugal, and it's different there. Now listen again. What was the weather like in Portugal, Debbie? It was cloudy every day, but it didn't rain. Really, it was lovely and sunny on our holiday in Spain. Yes, but we were in the north of Portugal, and it's different there. Five. What has the girl broken? Be careful, Mum. There are some pieces of glass on the floor. Oh, you haven't broken that nice picture, have you? It's all right. The lemonade bottle fell on the floor. Oh well, at least it was empty. Now listen again. Be careful, Mum. There are some pieces of glass on the floor. Oh, you haven't broken that nice picture, have you? It's all right. The lemonade bottle fell on the floor. Oh well, at least it was empty. This is the end of part one.